In recent years, search capabilities in databases have evolved tremendously. Let's briefly compare semantic search with vector search and what it all means for you, the developer. Semantic search looks at the meaning and context of a user's query. It's not just about matching keywords to the best results. Rather, semantic search aims to identify what the user means when they search for something, even if it's not blatantly stated in the query itself. For example, let's say you have a website that sells apparel. If a user searches for shoes for the beach, semantic search means that your website might show results that are various kinds of sandals, lightweight flats, and even casual sneakers best suited for the beach. Vector search, on the other hand, takes unstructured data like text and images and turns it into numeric embeddings. These embeddings can then be compared to see how similar or dissimilar they are with respect to the search query. Vector search is often part of semantic search since the distance between vectors can be used to identify semantically similar items. With vector search, a user's query is also turned into embeddings. The query's embeddings can ultimately be compared to the embeddings of a data set to find the most relevant results. The reason this matters so much is that we've graduated beyond the point of keyword searches to give our users more tailored, specific results. If you want to learn more, click the link below to watch the full video from Asawari. She'll show you how to build a semantic search application with MongoDB and Quarkus using vector search.